Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Welcome to another episode. Today we have a lot to discuss my friends because Bitcoin currently is crashing. Same like all the altcoins. Let's have a look through all the time frames. What is going on right now and what are the potential targets here and of course all of my expectations so before we start my friends for all the bybit traders currently there is a new bonus going on you can type in in your rewards hub this use code here jackpot if you put this in the voucher code you will get an extra bonus up to five hundred dollars if you put a new deposit into your account and if you still need a bybit trading account where you can go long or you can go short on bitcoin so you can do also money when we are crashing then make sure to open up an account with my link that you find down below here because next to this new bonus you will get also this 90 dollars extra bonus with the rewards hub over on Bybit. And now my friends, let's start straight with the content because Bitcoin after breaking out from this ascending broadening wedge last week, you can see that currently we have this waterfall and we have a clear resistance here approximately at around $35,600 right now. So this blue trend line right now is the resistance. And as long as we are not able to close at least a one hour candle above this price level, we are shifted to the downside and we should expect the price to go lower and lower because here in the one hour time frame currently we are in a downtrend we are closing hourly candles below all the moving averages and as long as we are not able to close a one hour candle at least above here the resistance which is also coinciding with the 20 moving average so if we can close at least a one hour candle above this $36,000 area we should see a little breather to the upside because if we're gonna see this breather this is going to be very important to see if we can take out this high that we created here at $42,000 because if not then we just have seen a little breather to the upside created a lower high and that of course is a bearish sign and we should expect continuation to the downside because this could be just the beginning of this bigger correction that we were waiting now for so long and you definitely know by now what are the final targets of this potential dump but before we are going completely crazy and go panic sell and whatever make sure that you watch this video till the end because the bigger time frames right now are very key so now we first start with the lower time frames and this is just the one hour so the one hour is in a clear downtrend we are closing below all the moving averages and we could expect continuation into the downside because the next theoretical support is this green trend line here currently at around $33,600 if we're gonna have a one hour close below of this price level then watch out here for the next potential support support at around 30k so it is very likely that we could even fall down towards 30k in the next couple of hours and then we're gonna see also in the bigger time frames what could be the even worser uh, bearish uh, targets but now let's switch over into the four hour because this is going to be way more important and here you can see that the nine moving average right now is not holding anymore as a support also as you can remember in my yesterday's video i told you that there is a very high chance that 47,000 is denied for now because we're starting to close four hour candles below the nine and 20 moving average in the four hour and that will lead into at least a bigger correction towards the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame which is lining up right here at $27,000. Of course, the more times passes, the higher this moving average is coming. So I think there is a very high chance that sooner or later we will come down towards this 30K area and then potentially also test the 200 moving average here. And then from there on, maybe see a breather to the upside because in the four hour, we are just coming down towards the 200 moving average. So right now in the four hour, we are not technically in a downtrend only in the one hour. But if here we cannot see a bounce, at least a breather to the upside, then I think the the correction could be way more huge than we thought and uh, if here in the four hour we are not even able to bounce from the 200 moving average currently at around $27,000 then I'm afraid that we will go way lower in a very very fast way my friends so currently we are closing above the 9 20 and 50 moving average in four hour only the 100 is holding right here $32,000 and if this one will not hold if you're gonna see a four hour close below then watch out here for the 200 moving average 
and the RSI currently is trading below the 50 level which of course is bearish we have the momentum now turning into bearish mode and also in my own indicator you can see that currently money flow is coming down but also here it looks like that we could see a little breather pretty soon so as soon as here I'm getting a buy signal I think we will see this potential big push to the upside which then we're gonna test here the old all-time high currently at $42,000 and there we're gonna see if we're gonna see continuation to the downside or if we are able to go higher and this was just a short lift correction a pullback and then we're gonna head again towards our bullish targets of around 47,000 and then 63,000 if 47 will not act as a resistance because so far we didn't reach $47,000 we don't know yet what will happen at those price levels but so far it looks like that this could be a potential bigger correction so let's see what will happen once we're gonna reach the 200 moving average and if we're gonna see this breather to the upside of course you can trade this also with a long position over on Bybit or Femex but also think about that if you don't have any cash on the sideline maybe to take out some profits if we're gonna see this breather and already getting rejected for example here at the 20 MA here in the four hour time frame which currently is lining up right at $39,300 think about maybe to take a little bit of cash out just in case that here we're gonna create a lower high and then start the bigger correction to the bearish target so you will be able to buy at a cheaper price so you can buy even more Bitcoin at a cheaper price and also you don't have to sell any anything and also don't go out to panic sell if we're gonna crash so you should feel comfortable right now my friends if you took out some profits here that you can rebuy at a cheaper price maybe at our bearish targets that we will cover now in the weekly time frame but the important thing is that wherever the price is going from now on you should be feeling comfortable with your cash on the sideline and also with your hodl portfolio so make sure that these two things are balanced so wherever the price is going you should be feeling all right and never go to panic sell or anything like that because like that you will only lose money so make sure that you're able to accumulate more Bitcoin if we fall but also if we're just starting to moon here again that you have already accumulated enough Bitcoin and if we go over into the Bollinger Bands in the four hour you can see that currently we're closing four hour candles below the bottom so as long as we're closing four hour candles below the bottom here so below $35,000 we should expect the price to go lower and lower only as soon as we're gonna have a four hour close within the Bollinger Bands we will see this potential breather towards our two important moving averages here currently between $37,700 and $39,300 as you can see we also have MACD and KST now shifted to the downside and they also don't look that we're gonna bottom out very soon so also here we still have a lot of room left to the downside towards the 200 moving average in my opinion but watch out here for the stochastic because stochastic currently is very very oversold so here we could expect a bounce pretty soon I'm just waiting here for my own indicator to get a buy signal to then possibly take a little bit more profits out here if we're gonna test it at 20 MA again just in case to be able to buy more Bitcoin if we continue to fall and at the other hand if we are able to close above the 20 moving average again in the four hour then this was just a pullback and we will continue to go higher and higher because the four hour is still looking great my friends even though we are seeing this pullback but as long as we're closing above the 200 moving average everything should be okay and if you are using my own indicator over on Discord uh, or if you are interested in getting access to it because here you can see different time frames for example here you can see the one hour and three hour time frame which currently are in a downtrend based on the ribbons here and also in my own indicator you can get some buy and sell signals which of course are very helpful also for your own TA then of course this is also very helpful if you're trading Bitcoin with the leverage so if you go short or if you go long this is very helpful and if you want to get access make sure that you first join our free discord trading group you can find the link down below here is completely for free and if you want to get access to the live stream of my own indicator then of course a little donation is needed to keep alive the stream and therefore of course you can also contact me over on discord and now my friends since we are in the four hour time frame let's have quickly a look also into the DXY in the US dollar index because there is a long time that we didn't 
cover the US dollar index. So let's see what is going on here, because as you can see, the US dollar index was falling off the cliff here as long Bitcoin was pumping. And this is now the first time that we are seeing here a sustainable pump in the DXY towards the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame, which is coincided with our main resistance that we are seeing here in this time frame. So as long as the DXY is not able to push higher than this resistance here at $90.50 and also not close four hour candles above the 200 moving average, we will remain in this downwards trend because the DXY is still in this bear market, even here in the four hour time frames so or also in the lower time frames. And only if we are able to bring here all the moving averages again above the 200 moving average, I think here we could see a short lift pump to the upside in the DXY. And that of course will lead into a big correction in the stock market and also of course in the Bitcoin price. So we have to keep an eye again here on the DXY, what will happen here? Because if we're able to break this resistance and start to close four hour candles above the 200 moving average, then we're gonna see a shift here in the DXY and of course the opposite most likely than also in the Bitcoin price where we're gonna start then to close four hour candles below the 200 moving average and that of course will lead into a bear market at least here in the lower time frames but now more important let's go over into the daily time frame my friends because here you can see that bitcoin yesterday bounced and closed here above the nine daily moving average right here at thirty six thousand two hundred dollar and right now as you can see we are falling below this moving average and the next step is here to test the 20 daily moving average right at thirty two thousand dollar and as you can see today we already bounced from it but the more important thing will be to close above the nine daily moving average so if we don't close today above $36,500 I think this will be the beginning of a major correction of course we still have the 20 daily which can save us here $32,000 but if we also gonna close below 32,000 then I think the correction towards our bearish targets is very likely to come and you should be prepared to buy and long if Bitcoin is going again towards 20k and maybe even a little bit lower so how we're gonna trade in the next couple of days and weeks is all gonna be depending on how we gonna close today and potentially also tomorrow the daily candle because if here we're gonna lose some important moving averages then I'm afraid that we could see a massive correction in the worst case even towards the 200 daily moving average here at $15,000 I don't think we will go that low but it is still in the cards my friends because as long as we're trading here above the 200 daily moving average we could go at any time down to test this moving average and then bounce from it and still remain on our bull trend because as I told you many videos already my friends as long as we are closing daily candles above the 200 daily moving average we have nothing to worry about and since we were just going parabolic here to the upside a correction down to those important supports and moving averages are always in the cards and those usually are always the best points to accumulate more bitcoin and also to dca some nice long positions for the long term because bitcoin towards the end of the year will go to completely new levels and you definitely want to be ready with a nice long position there and also with enough Bitcoin to take also a little bit of money so currently here in the daily it's all gonna be depending where we're gonna close we have the RSI also now cooling off towards the 50 level here I'm expecting a possible bounce so I think with that today we most likely gonna not close below $32,000 and not below the 20 daily moving average and if so then we could see a massive correction very very fast my friends because if we're gonna lose such important supports within only one or two days then I think this correction can be happening very very quickly and of course I'm expecting then also very fast recovery but you should be ready also for this scenario that we could drop very very fast and you should able to buy more Bitcoin to long more Bitcoin and don't go and panic sell and now if we have a look into the Bollinger Bands in the daily you can see that here we just topped out at the top and of course now we're seeing this retracement back to the middle line so if we can close today above $32,000 or above the middle line then we should be good to go again to the upside but if we're gonna have a close below then watch out here for the bottom right at $20,000 and why $20,000 is so important therefore we have to go over into the weekly time frame because you can see that the 20k area is not only 
probably our old all time high that we still didn't test as a new support. So it is very likely that we will come down to test this new 20K support and then have a big bounce to the upside. And this price level is lining up perfectly here between the nine weekly moving average at 25,500 and down here at the 20 weekly currently at around $18,300. So it is very likely that at that time that we will come down to test this 20K area that the 20 weekly moving average will be lining up more or less with this price level. So this is why we always have to update every week these moving averages here in the weekly because Bitcoin also during a bull run likes to come down and test these two important moving averages. And if this $42,000 was the local top, then you can see that here the 0.618 Fib retracement, a very important retracement which Bitcoin likes to come down and always test it and then bounce again to the upside is perfectly lining up right now with the 20 weekly moving average here at $18,500. So me myself, I have all my longs and buy orders set here between the nine weekly moving average at 25,500 and here 18 because I don't think that Bitcoin will go lower than that. This should be really the worst scenario if we're gonna see a massive correction this week or maybe next week because also here you see the RSI currently is cooling off after being completely overbought. In my own indicator we don't have a sell signal flashing right now but it will happen pretty soon especially if today or tomorrow we're gonna close below the 9 daily or 20 daily moving average. So here everything is looking like that we could start this massive correction that that we were waiting now for so long so everyone can accumulate as much Bitcoin as they want before we're going completely parabolic to the upside and also take out this high here at $42,000. But of course, my friends, this potential drop and correction here can be very tough and hard, especially if you're new in the market or if you bought in up here at around thirty dollars to $40,000. So I'm not saying that you should sell now everything, but if you don't have any cash on the sideline, take a little bit of profits out. It's not too late yet and be ready to buy in at those levels down here if you want to try to accumulate a little bit more Bitcoin. Otherwise, just huddle, just keep it because for the long term Bitcoin will go way higher and this correction was overdue. So this is completely normal. And when we are seeing Bitcoin crashing so much, then of course all the altcoins are bleeding as well and usually even way more than Bitcoin. For example, Ethereum currently is also falling off the cliff here after hitting here our target of approximately $1,400 as you can see here. Currently we are seeing this correction potentially also down towards the $750 level if here the $900 will not hold because $900 could be a potential support area, a bounce area, but if here we will not see this breather to the upside then watch out here for the $750 area. This was previously a very strong resistance and right now it should be acting as a very strong support as well. So let's see what will happen if Ethereum is coming down, but everything is going to be depending on what Bitcoin is doing and where we're gonna see here a bounce again. Because a breather will come, especially if today we're gonna close at least above the 20 daily moving average. So let's wait and see. But the trend for sure for today is shifted to the downside. We should expect the price at least to come again down towards the 100 moving average in the four hour here at around 32,000 to 30K. And if we don't gonna close today, at least at those price levels, then we're gonna see continuation to the downside. Here the 200 moving average at 27,000 could be the last opportunity for Bitcoin to have a bounce again towards 30K and higher. But if here we don't gonna see a bounce to the upside, if you're starting to close four hour candles, below then watch out for these targets that I pointed out in the weekly time frame between the nine weekly and 20 weekly moving average. Those are the price levels where Bitcoin usually comes down, bottom out and then gear up for a next big move to the upside. And that's why you should be ready with some cash on the sideline to buy the dip also to scale in some nice longs over on Bybit and Femix. If you need any kind of trading account here down below in the video description, you find all the exchanges that I'm also using and those are also the recommended ones, which is giving you also some bonus if you sign up with my referrals. And if you're completely new in the crypto space, you want to buy now some Bitcoin, then use Coinbase, Binance, Swissborg, those are the recommended ones. And if you use my invitation links down below here, you will get also some extra money and also some extra crypto so you can buy even more and please join our great crypto trading chat we 
have a great crypto community over there and uh, feel free also to join me in my other channels you find all my social media channels down below here in the video description and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now let's see where we're gonna close the next couple of four hour candles but even more important where we're gonna close the daily candle this one will decide if we're gonna start this huge bigger correction or if this was already the pullback and we will continue to go higher so stay tuned my friends leave a like here subscribe to the channel i do daily updates and also of course i update you always over on discord so make sure that you sign up on all my channels so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now